Bring them on, Charlotte. Bring them on. Who do I mean? I mean Paris Saint Sa San Paris Saint Germain. PSG. They're known as for short to save crucial seconds, Charlotte, because we beat Burnley, and <laughs> you know what it, the, the the strength of the Premier League and the money of the Premier League. What's the harder game, Paris Saint Germain or, or Burnley? And it's Paris Saint Germain. I'm just saying. It's things. definitely I'm just saying pa- things which probably sound good on paper. One hundred percent Paris Paris Saint Germain. <laughs> I did a podcast today with a French um, journalist about Paris, and uh, the team not the city he was very confident about psg's uh chances against newcastle united at st james's park <laughs> to be fair charlotte you probably watched newcastle against ac milan and was like we'll have some of this <laughs> he was negative about our ac milan performance and i was a bit like well i came out on that really positive but he less so positive for psg yeah less so for us he says they score so they'll score that's okay, we just have to score more. That's how it works. That's how it works. A little bit of football trivia <laughs> for you there. That's how winning works. We beat Burnley. That's the important thing. Anything against Paris is a massive fuck-off bonus because yeah. it's only been two years since the takeover. And here we are, you and I, Charlotte, but also the viewer, Newcastle United in the Champions League against PSG. And Wednesday night, we've got, we've got good players. We've got some not-so-good players, but that's all right. We've got drone shit going not on. Not on Wednesday. No, but still, because we've got it. It hazard. belongs to us. You can't put 52,000 people into one small area and then fly like a thousand drones <laughs> over the top of them. It's dangerous, apparently. <laughs> dangerous Things you learn every day through being a fan of a football team. You're not allowed. But yeah, Paris are probably quaking in their boots yeah. because of the drone show. If we are doing it tonight, I believe, later on than this recording, they'll be training Paris. They'll be training on our pitch and they'll look up above them and they'll think what the fuck is that if they're not allowed to do the drone strike when we're in the stadium surely they're not allowed to do it when Mbappe's in the stadium <laughs> Mbappe is worth more than me <laughs> Charlotte a couple of words on Burnley really quickly we've all moved on mentally physically from it I'm so glad you brought it back up because I love thinking about that Burnley game Best Saturday of my life. <laughs> so yeah. So it's true. Go on. Talk where, about where, them then. Where, so obsessed. Wear class. It was easy. Our class shone through. Some class lads missing. Doesn't matter. Probably does matter against Paris Saint-Germain more so. But I think to myself, Charlotte, you know, do, does Jamal Lascelles mean Paris Saint-Germain have a bigger chance of winning? Maybe. Fucking maybe. But, but, Fabian Cher did his own graphic for social media quite clearly and if we have someone a player too tight to pay a graphic designer <laughs> too tight to pay a graphic designer then it can only lead me to believe that the natural conclusion of that whole episode was fabian share is going to pay jamal LaSalle to play even better beside him what i love so much yeah you think he's scrimping and saving yeah. on graphic design so that he can put some money in LaSalle's pocket yes. mm, that's definitely what's going on behind the scenes my favorite thing about that is like once he'd finished it in canva or whatever he'd been <laughs> using he just screenshot it he didn't even save the image Big it's black definitely. marks underneath it. It's the Canva like free one month, <laughs> a free one month um, template. Yes, and he called Fabian Lucas Char. It's like his full name. <laughs> I love that man. He had two Nami magpies, I think, as well at the bottom of it. Just Perfect. get all the nicknames in. Why not? Why not? Otherwise, they wouldn't know who it was for. <laughs> but 150 games. He's fucking class. Let's mm. face it. Sh- Fabian Char is now one of the class lads. He is going to have to be at his very, very best if we're going to be PSG. And why not? He's at his best. Regularly, he'll dazzle them with his intellect, his looks. His his looks. Mo- most importantly, probably football, football footballing ability. But yeah. the other stuff still counts, Charlotte. Come on then, talk up talk up Wednesday. How good's it going to be and it's why? It's going to be fucking class because we're fucking class. And it's the first European night at St. James's Park in 20 years. The place is going to be bouncing. I know the flags have been planning a display for fucking ages. And it's just going to be mint. And I can't wait. I want to get there now. Love it. What else could I say? Very little. We're going to do a video after it probably, so come back for that. Returning mm. viewers help the channel. At £3 million, Fabian shares probably one of the best signings for value that Newcastle United have ever made. What do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, it was sparking, you know? I think... <laughs> 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 
let's talk about point number two, Charlotte. Eddie Howe got asked in a press conference things, and of course, when Eddie Howe gets asked about things in press conferences, lots of little men around the country, just little ones, they get really so upset small. and angry about him. Why? Tell me why. I can't understand it. Because of the questions he's asked. Well, like, why do they get so upset about him talking about a tree that got cut down? I care about the tree that got cut down. It's shit. And it was this amazing, like, iconic tree in a beautiful area, an area of outstanding natural beauty. And it was a place that people went to, people got engaged, but yada, yada, yada. I don't care what Eddie Howe thinks about it. Yeah. Like, I think Eddie Howe cares. Like, uh, like, maybe if we were in the pub with Eddie Howe, which he would never be because he's Call always, us Eddie. always at the changing ground. Why don't you text back? Changing ground, I said there. <laughs> Why don't you text back? You haven't got his number. You're just <laughs> trying different combinations every night. <laughs> I'm not on text yet. I'm going through the phone book across the <laughs> area code. 0191 You must be extra-rectory. <laughs> The, not one for the younger <laughs> generation that really appealing to all kinds of people no one um, watches us under the age of 25 good great so you know what the what the phone book is directory inquiries anyway like if we were sat down and we were chatting or we were having dinner i'd be like oh isn't it shit about that tree and he'd be like yeah shit about the tree and um, what a terrible act of vandalism but in a in a press conference about a game against burnley like that is not the forum to ask. So maybe I'm one of the angry little men now. Who knew? I couldn't say it. But My she transformation said it, so is okay. complete. Yeah, so so to talk about the anger, because I didn't realise Charlotte would have this reaction, but that's all right. We're all, we're all friends. This is a safe space uh, on the internet in front of a load of fucking strangers. Yeah, lo- um, very safe. <laughs> Notoriously safe place to be. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of football people were like, well, you wouldn't answer a question about the Saudis. Right, but, okay. But you'll talk about a tree. That's how they speak as well. I, right, you know, that's yeah. exactly how they speak. The thing is, he does answer questions about the Saudis. He says, I'm not well-versed enough, or I'm aware of that, but I'm just here to do a job. And he basically said that about the tree. Yeah, he was, about the tree, he was like, it's a shame I never got to go to that place, which I probably just heard about before walking into the press conference. No, he's a big Robin Hood fan. <laughs> um, but it's just so funny, isn't it? It's just like, it's content for content's sake. It's like everyone needs a reason to be outraged, to be a reason to be better than the other guy. Like Eddie Howes, he's a nice guy. Like, I've not actually heard anyone have a bad word to say about the bloke. And in football, that's pretty rare. But, you know, you answer the question about the tree, but won't take on these deeply complex issues, which also shouldn't be brought up in a press conference, like, have a fucking day off, lads. Like, Christ. Go outside. Yeah, go outside. It's Friday when this happened. It's Friday. Be happy. Mm. Doesn't mean you have to support Saudi human rights abuses. And we don't. They're awful. They're terrible. Thank you. But Eddie Howe is not, he's not your man. He's not your man for, the, for, for, whatever, for whatever pedestal. Just football. Yeah. Just keep it to the football. Surprised that the referee went over to check an offside. I don't really understand the rule, so I probably need to be educated on that one. Point number three, I wanted to talk about Bruno. Bruno. So Bruno was class on Saturday, but it turns out it wasn't Bruno playing <laughs> on Saturday because he was on the road somewhere. <laughs> no, that's a mean little joke because Bruno tweeted three points on the road, which is really <laughs> funny. He's just excited. He's like, and also the man came to Newcastle a year and a half ago or a bit longer, with very little English, I think, and has really, really learned good English. Not only, like, good English, but sort of colloquial English. He sort of gets the sort of colloquialisms from the northeast, and he's trying really hard, but he did write three points on the road, and we were very much at home. And then he wrote a correction. He left the original tweet up, which I like. is that what the sorry about the mistake was? Yeah. Right. I didn't know that. I definitely didn't know that. I thought he'd, he'd looked back into the past year and a half or whatever it was that he signed for us. And he thought, what was the stupidest, most crazy thing that happened in my time at the football club? Oh, it was John Joe Shelby after Brighton at home after we'd won, (laughs) writing an apology note (laughs) for the fan base. And I thought it was Bruno. I genuinely thought it was Bruno saying, well, that's what players must, that's the English culture. (laughs) That's what they do. You just have to randomly say, great to win. Sorry about my performance. I was fucking terrible, wasn't I? Even, like, no, and he was class. But yeah, it was I, really good. Bruno, I'm sorry, yeah. No, it was, that's what it was about. Yeah. So, you've learned something uh, new today. Silly me. And he keeps teasing 
The club keep teasing his contract, even though he's already told us and yeah. fucking saying. So. Oh, can you imagine if he scores on Wednesday? What what news is no, he going to well, reveal? He, he'll pull it HS2 out. HS2 is done. <laughs> I was thinking he'd pull out the contract out of his boot, oh. grab a pen from someone and sign it on a seller advertising hoarding. Gra- to a grab a pen from drone someone. Strike. <laughs> <laughs> drone strike in the air. And a new child, probably. We've I don't gone know. Weird. Bruno's fucking magic. He wears a magic hat. He couldn't say for Arsenal, but he has said fuck well, that. Yeah, well. Should we do hashtag Ask TFTV? You're so good at it now. We had we had a theme song last week. Yeah. Who well. knows what the editor will do this <laughs> week? <laughs> hashtag Ask TFTV. They just talk about the, the situation at the moment. Small magazine show. We've actually got more than one, haven't we? We got three because we're so appreciative of you getting your hashtag AskTFTVs in the comments. Charlotte reads them all. Not just the hashtag AskTFTVs, but all your comments. We thought we'd ask three kind of quickfire ones because we want to reward you guys for, for taking the time to do that. We love you. First one from Chris Patterson 5225 I don't know if that's his age. Who knows? It's not. Hashtag AskTFTV. <laughs> oh, you know the man. <laughs> when, he, when he's on his deathbed... Do you think Eddie Howe will give himself any credit whatsoever for his outstanding career or instead chat to his loved ones about Satan's high line and how he will have to rave his intensity at maximum levels to... And then it says, read more on the comment, and I didn't click it. Why would he be going anywhere near Satan? I was just thinking that. What do you know? What have you got on Eddie Howe? Tell us. He's going nowhere near Satan. This is a safe space community. It's only, only between us if you tell us. And also millions. Millions, apparently. A couple of thousand people. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Chris is part of the weird lads who who's really angry about Eddie Howe not um, talking about Saudi Arabia. He can't Probably go to not hell though. For that. Probably not. No, I don't think he'll give himself much credit, but I think he'll spend that time with his loved ones. And honestly, I actually don't want to talk about Eddie Howe dying. That actually makes me feel a bit sad. Let's have the next one. <laughs> okay, thanks for your question, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Mark Rhodes nine six three two ninety six thirty two. Do the maths. Um, can we really survive the next few weeks with our squad? Surely we just need a bit of luck with no injuries. And this was, I think, written before we lost both Sven Botman and Callum Wilson uh, and Joe Linton. <laughs> it's not funny, Alex. Bit of luck. Bit of luck with injuries. Also, you both have great hair. I'm oh. also going grey. Who Also? Yeah, these natural highlights <laughs> that my body has decided to do after a lifetime of being blonde. I agree, Mark Rhodes. 9632, we do need a bit of luck. Can we cope over the next few weeks? I don't fucking know. We'll find out. Two of them are international breaks, so it's fine. Yeah. It's actually going to be fine. It's actually a very good time for the international break to happen. Um, Everybody will be back to fit. Everybody will be back to fitness. Everything will be fine. We'll get a little bit of luck on Wednesday night, and it's all going to be okay. So we'll beat PSG, and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. All will be well. Easy. To rephrase um, finally, from Jason hyphen eighty seven three zero three, possibly an old school phone number. Who knows? Probably I'll not. I'll check the directory. <laughs> if Alex or Charlotte took a book to the footy, what would it be? Ah, uh, yes. And why? And this is obviously because the Sheffield United lady took a book, though it was subsequently found out because everything has to be content that she takes her blind husband to the football and doesn't really like football, so she reads a book. It's astonishing that she's able to, though, because I, like, I love reading, but it has to be quiet for me to be reading. Yeah. Um, maybe she had earplugs in. I didn't study the picture. What book would I be reading? I don't know what I, what book I'd be reading. Like, I'm reading a, a fiction book at the moment, so maybe that one. It's called Big Swiss. Or maybe I'd be reading something like The Art of Getting Even, <laughs> if, we're, if we're like, if we're like not winning but we normally win so probably just probably just a fun fiction book what would you be reading something about the bloody civil war <laughs> which one um mm. uh, i'd probably i'd like to have a kind of big book of class lads and just you know if oh, the lads a much better answer weren't being class i could open my big book of class lads and be like they, they can do it they can do it get back on your feet alex close your book and get behind the lads yeah, your big book of Alex's big book of class lads. <laughs> Maybe I'd read my own memoir, which the title of which I've forgotten. Do you remember we did that in a? I've ruined it, but our editor did make a little book, the story oh, yes. of my life. Yeah, the story of Charlotte's life. Yeah, self remind myself. Self indulgent of you. <laughs> That's what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. It'd be boring. Let's beat PSG, shall we? Let's. We've decided. Thanks for watching. Get your comments in. If you've got this far, thank you. And also just hit the subscribe button. Helps us a lot. We'll be back dead late. 
because it kicks off late against PSG. Probably be tired. Um, Look forward to it. Really selling it. <laughs> Great. If you'd like to ask us a question for next week, please use the hashtag at TFTV. Oh, so close. Thank you for watching. <laughs>